Hey everybody, welcome back. And today we're gonna install the live axle on the blue cart. We got the cart flipped over on the saw horses and we're gonna take you kind of step by step on how to install live axle. It's really simple. Again, measure, 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 weld, grind paint, install. And again, real easy. And thanks for everyone who's coming in, new people, subscribers, channel members. Everybody here's welcome. Appreciate it very much. And let's get going. The excess of axle off of each end of our frame so when we go to, go to put in our live axle we don't have any interference also saves a little weight off the back of the cart so what's next we're going to buzz down these two side plates get some good metal take some measurements from the front make sure we're installing our axle square and we'll get some mock-up done all right, and here's where you want to measure three, four, five times. If we go to the front, we put our tape measure on the front axle. All right, and we measure back along the side of the cart here. We want to measure to this line, okay? And on this side, we can get in here real close. We're about 47 and an eighth, all right? We come over to this side and we're right at 47 inches. See our brake is right at 47 inches. Okay. And this side, we're like 47 and an eighth. So what do we do? Okay, we can do two things. We know we need to take an eighth inch off this side of the cart from that front axle to where the rear axle is going to sit. And we know these plates are identical in this measurement. So we can do one of two things. We can grind back this plate here, that eighth of an inch. So when we butt our axle plate up, it'll measure 47 to the gap, which is the way we're gonna do it. Or if there was no way to grind this, just say you could actually take that eighth inch off the bracket and just make sure you're measuring from your axle center line or a point in the bracket that's the same on both sides. So what we're going to do now is we'll take this off, we'll take out that eighth of an inch, put everything back up, remeasure it, and once we're sure that both sides are at 47 inches to the gap here, we can go ahead and tack this all up. And then after a couple attempts, you can see our gaps right at, oh, let me get the camera right. Right at 47 inches. So we know we're square front to back. Front to back. Front axle to rear axle is gonna be the same distance. Now we'll make sure we're the same height on both sides. So we don't have a wonky cricket cart. And then we'll go ahead and tack something in. All right, both of our brackets are centered top to bottom. And they both measure out 47 inches from the separation to the front axle. So we know that our cart is square and level. So now we have to do now is with our brackets, just like always, We'll take them over to the belt sander and we'll get some of the scale off. We'll grind some of the paint off on the cart where we're gonna weld to on both sides. And we'll tack some metal together. Okay, and here is the brackets all welded in, primed and painted. We saved you from the welding because if you've been on this channel, you know what my welding looks like. So there you go. Let's take a look at the other side. And the same thing, real nice. 
And what we're gonna do now, because I'm always so impatient with paint, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let this stuff dry. We're gonna go in the house, we're gonna eat some dinner, grab a pizza, let all this paint got a skin on it, and then we'll come back out and throw the axle in and show you what that looks like. Okay, the paint has dried. And you can see we installed our bearings. We have those in there. Oh, they're still a little loose, but we wanted to put the axle in before we tighten down the little carrier bolts. Just to be sure everything lines up. And before we make them super tight, we'll double, triple check our measurements, make sure we're gonna square the chassis. But let me get these tightened up and then we'll flip the cart over and see what it looks like on its wheels. Well, there it is. I'll put together low on the ground. The back, the back of it is. Oh God, I'm gonna come this way. Oh, this one, it, oh, this one is wider. It is much heavier than the red one. Not bad. Um, actually a little bit more leg room than the red cart. It's a lot heavier. Of course, it's a lot wider, but this gives me room for my batteries and the big electric motor. So, pretty stable, looks fun. Can't wait to rip this thing. But that's the live axle install for today. Again, thanks for hanging out and watching the live axle install. Again, thanks to all our new folks, all our subscribers, and all our channel members for coming in. Leave me comments in the bottom. Let me know what you think about the blue cart build so far. And we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.